anybody getting into World of Warcraft right now for the first time, they jump into Dragonflight and they're quitting. Like, there's no shot that anybody knew was playing this f***ing game. So scrolling through Reddit, I saw this post that is blowing up right now. It's throwing little jabs at this article from PC Games Network. And this is the article right here. Players will kill WoW and the Plunderstorm backlash proves it. So the Reddit post is talking shit about an article that is basically saying that the WoW community and the Blizzard community, they're so toxic when it's games that they love. It's like, I have this game that I play 60 to 80 hours a week, but you shouldn't play it because it's dog shit. That's what this article is kind of saying is like, there are people who are playing a game every single day, yet they hate the fucking game and they hate the people who are making the game. So this is the, this is the conundrum that Blizzard is in is that you have PVP people, you have the PVE casual people who just log on to do the quest and the achievements and shit. Then you have the people who are like super hardcore PVE, right? Like the mythic plusers, the people who are doing mythic rating and shit like that. Right? So the PvP people are pissed off because they're like, this is the PvP you gave us when you haven't done shit for PvP in World of Warcraft itself. So the game, the, the actual game of PvP is really dog shit right now. There's 30 minute queues to try to get into solo shuffle. There's uh, like trying to do any type of battleground shit is just a Zerg fest. There's no type of strategy in any of that. Healers are non-existent in PvP, so that's why you have the long queue times. So those people are like, why the f*** did you make a PvP game when the PvP that we're saying we want, you're not fixing or adding any changes to, okay? Then there's those questers that I was talking about who just want to be completionists. So Blizzard added that into Blood and the Storm. They added some collectible shit like mounts. They added some uh, transmog stuff. They added some cosmetics or whatever. But those people do not want to have to PvP. Those people are like, why are you adding a PvP mode for me to get the collectible shit that I want to get. So those people are pissed. And now the PvEers, who are the, the super hardcore Mythic Plus people, they look at the game and they're not even going to try it, right? So the PvP people and the um, achievement people, they're going to try the game and they're mad because it's not the game that they wanted it to be, right? The Mythic Plus people and the Mythic Rating people, they look at it and they say, that's PvP. I'm not playing it at all. Little do they know that there is questing in there. There is a bunch of shit that you can explore. It is a super fun game mode that has everything that all these Mythic Plus people love about World of Warcraft, which is like the movement, the fact that uh, everything is responsive, the fact that there's just that WoW combat that you can't get in other games. Wildstar tried to do it, and other games are trying to like mo uh, mimic that, but they just couldn't do it at all. Uh, and this game has that, but they won't even try it. They won't even try it because it's PvP. And those hardcore Mythic Plus Mythic rating people, they don't do PvP at all. And if they have to do PvP, they'd rather f***ing die. The collectible people are pissed off because they want to finish the collectible shit. And I know that like a lot of people don't think that they should add that because it should be its own separate game. But I think that to get people to try a new Blizzard game... They have to do that. They do it for Diablo. They did it for Warcraft Rumble. They did it for any new patch that comes out. If Overwatch, Hearthstone comes out with anything new, they always have something in each game that lets you know about the other thing. They have to do that. That's how they cross-pollinate their games to get more people interested in it, right? So like in Hearthstone, when they come out with something new, there is a vendor in retail World of Warcraft or some version of something in Diablo or something like that where it'll tell you, hey, this new Hearthstone thing came out. Here's this card pack. If you play it, you're going to get this card pack in Hearthstone if you play this retail thing. And that's what Plunderstorm is doing is like they're basically just like, what are they going to give you? Like no one cares about Plunderstorm right now because it's not a fully fleshed out game, right? So it's like, they want to make it so that people want to keep playing it. So they add this like renowned, which is like reputation or just like, you just kind of like slowly go through and become more famous in this world or whatever. Uh, and each level has to give you something, but there's nothing it can give you in Plunderstorm other than like maybe Plunderstorm skins, but like no one cares about Plunderstorm. So they give you World of Warcraft skins and World of Warcraft mounts, which I think... They should do because that gets people in WoW to at least try the game or at least it attempts to get people in WoW to try the game. So the big part where Blizzard fucked up, I think, is not knowing how 
good this is. Like, I I think that they thought that this was another, like, they didn't think that this was a, a season of Discovery level awesomeness. They didn't think that it was heroic level awesomeness. What they thought is that this was going to be just another season four little event like the the PvP brawls that they put in. You know, they put in those PvP brawls that no one plays. Literally nobody plays these because PvP is in such a bad state or for whatever reason. Nobody plays the PvP brawls. They thought it was going to be that level of successful. So they just put it in the game as like a holdover from, uh, from Dragonflight to the next expansion, The War Within. Now, I think they f***ed up big time because if they would have just said that this is Warcraft Plunder or, you know, Plunderstorm, whatever they want to call it, but Warcraft Plunder, and it's its own thing, kind of like how I feel like Warzone f***ed up at first when they made it part of, you had to buy Call of Duty to get access to Warzone, and then it was free later on, but I think they're going to realize that this is, like, a successful way to make the Warcraft games, and it should be 100% free-to-play. It should be 100% a standalone game. There should be no sub attached to it, and you should get shit in their other games for playing this that'll get you to buy the other game or sub to the other game, right? So imagine, like, you're playing Plunderstorm, and you get these transmogs in Plunderstorm, and you get, like, these... Maybe they add, like, you get, like, shit that doesn't matter, like XP boosts, and, like, you can, uh, maybe you can give your character something that gives them a little bit of like a utility or something like that. This is for sure made to be their Xbox, uh, what's it called? Xbox Game Pass? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't have a very long USB cable. That's not very long at all. If it doesn't work, that's a fucking sad day for Blizzard. Because this is like exactly what would be on the Xbox for people to start getting into World of Warcraft. We got controller time, boys. You can't see it, but we got it. Here we go. Let's see if I can f*** him up. He's way higher than me. And I'm already low on health. Uh, and I can jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Okay, so I'm way lower level. But I would have f this dude up if we were three. So 100% controller works. I could sit on my couch on my big ass TV and play this. With no, not being worse at all than other people. There's no way that any new people are getting into WoW, right? Like, Bog is now trying PvP for the first time. He now understands that, like, anybody who doesn't know, and he's a classic player. He already played retail a little bit before. Like, anybody getting into World of Warcraft right now for the first time, like, they jump into Dragonflight and they're quitting. Like, there's no shot that anybody new is playing this f***ing game. It is way too com complicated. Maybe they can get into a classic game or a classic version like that, and that'll work out. But, like, this f***ing game, this Plunderstorm game, the UI is so simplified, but it's still the WoW combat system. The spell animations are good. The reaction time is good. Like, the fact that you can use a controller means that they can put it on Xbox Game Pass for a dollar and get a whole bunch of people interested in playing World of Warcraft. The fact that they only have solos and duos is like, you understand because they want the queue times to be whatever they are. And then also, if you have trios in quads, um, it becomes like a lot to try to understand what's going on, especially when the game just comes out and as fast paced as this game is, right? Cause games are like, they can be anywhere from five minutes to maybe maximum, maximum 20 minutes. I think as soon as they add trios and quads, this game is going to be a lot more fun to play with a lot more people. And then as soon as the, the, the PVE people in world of Warcraft stop, complaining more people are going to be willing to try it right because one one or two or three or four friends complaining to the whole guild that blizzard shouldn't be doing that means that most people aren't even going to give this a try and then when you have the pvp people who realize that this is not world of warcraft this is not world of warcraft pvp this is a totally different game when that shit happens i think that blizzard is gonna they're going to make this standalone. They're going to make it so that you can have more people play with it. They're going to make it so it's free. They're going to make it so it's cross-platform. And this fucking game is going to blow up. The biggest, biggest issue that Blizzard had is that it's a massive fucking ship, right? It's a massive ship. And trying to navigate a ship is, like, way harder than navigating a little sailboat, right? So, like, 
what they did with um, with Classic is they had a little team that did Classic Vanilla when it came back. Massively successful, probably cost them way less money than anything else they were going to make. So then they ended up having another small team that did Hardcore. Fucking massive success for them. Then they did Season of Discovery, which is an insane success. Like, way bigger than it ever should have been or that they ever thought it would be. And I think so now they're starting to like fragment into these little teams and Plunderstorm is now a little team. Shout out to Kirby, right? He's a he's a he's a YouTube streamer who's a, apparently one of the leads on this game. They talk about that this is just a small team. So when something was broken like there was some uh issue with the coins um or some abilities or something like that, they fixed that shit in like 3 days. In 3 days that shit was fixed. That never happens in retail. You wait months for things to get fixed. So um yeah, I think it's like little segments of Blizzard trying out just throwing shit at the wall, right? Just throwing a whole bunch of different things. Some things don't work out. But yeah, there's just like these smaller teams trying out different things that are completely different than what the normal... Because Blizzard has to be safe because they have those PvP people that complain, the PvE people that complain, the achievement whores that complain. Like, they need to have this consistent game that they're making, which is retail or classic, going in these really steady, really streamlined directions. But nobody is playing these games for the first time. They need to start making new games with new ways of interfacing with the games. And that's, I mean, that's what Plunderstorm is. That Plunderstorm is just another, another version of that. Season of Discovery was another version of them just completely stepping out of their comfort zone, doing something wild that just works out. All right. I think that people have been burned so much by Blizzard that... They love, like, it's like they love to see the downfall of Blizzard, right? Because of whatever, whatever, however they got hurt by Blizzard. They, uh, Diablo 4 was the, the worst game that they've ever made, right? So that, that was one of the things. The, um, the Shadowlands was like, the biggest blunder that they've ever made in Warcraft history. So people are like super fucking mad. And so they're like, we want this company to fail, which I think is fucking dumb, right? Like why, like who cares if the company does good or bad? Is the game good or is the game not good? If the game is good, play the game, enjoy the game. If the game isn't good, play something else. It doesn't make any sense to have your identity wrapped up. Bro, okay, I need to show you this. Okay, there was a Reddit post two months ago called how do I quit wow and I need literally I'm not kidding like it's a literal fucking post yeah right here let me read this to you verbatim because this is like I feel bad for this guy right like these are like real people have these fucking like issues listen listen to this I've played WoW my entire life. I was addicted back in the day. The only reason I quit, the only reason I quit was because I got my first girlfriend, which by the way is awesome. Like, you know, uh, <laughs> I played, I played casually ever since, but became addicted when they launched classic servers. I'm 37 now, now with a good job and amazing wife. I raid three nights a week. I keep telling myself that this week will be the last week of raiding, but it never is. I fully understand how much time I'm wasting and how I can be so much more productive with my life. I know with Cataclysm coming out, it will consume me. How do I quit? This fucking guy is playing every single week, three days a week, he says, or raiding three days a week, which means he's playing way more, and he hates it. But he's playing every fucking day. This is an issue that people have with Blizzard games. Is that like, it's almost as if like the games are like the new cigarettes or the new tobacco or nicotine or whatever. It's like, people are like, I should not be doing this, but I'm doing it anyways. And I don't know how to think about this. And then like, the comments are even crazier. This guy's like, when you have the motivation, not just like the discipline or just saying like, all right, this game, I'm done playing this game. I don't like it right now, or I do like it. And I'm going to keep playing it. When you have the motivation, take a moment to unsubscribe and uninstall the game to make it as hard as possible to casually start the game up again. They're, they're coming up with strategies, real strategies to try to not play a game. This guy says, had the same issue more or less, 
get banned. Do something to get your account banned so you stop playing. Like, I can't, like, I don't know whether to laugh or cry at this. Like, this is insane. This is what, this is what the community is for World of Warcraft. So when Blizzard comes out and makes a game like Plunderstorm, you have those people. Those people who are like, I fucking hate Blizzard because they ruined my life. They took the game that I loved and they took my life away and nothing is ever going to be good again. Instead of these people just growing up and realizing that like, yo, I just don't. Like, that's not my life anymore. I'm, I'm an adult now. I have a wife. Maybe I have kids. I have, like, work and shit. Like, I can't play games like I used to play. So I'm going to now set aside time to game casually rather than my life being gaming. But that's what I'm trying to say is these people's identities are built up in World of Warcraft. So, are you like me, I'm Jim Fro playing a character in World of Warcraft. These people are a Tauren hunter. That's what they are in real life. They, they, their identity is a Tauren hunter. And those are the people that Blizzard has to try to say, well, I know that you've been wanting this thing, but like, we've been working on this really cool thing on the side. And those people are like, no, yeah, yeah. I don't want no old duels. I'm not drinking non-alcoholic beer. Like, give me that alcohol shit. And I want it to be Bud Light. And I want it every day right fucking now. That's, that's what they want. And then, then when Bud Light comes out and they're like, yeah, but like, we also support like trans people. And they're like, what? I'm not trans. <laughs> like, how fucking dare you? The thing. All right. So the thing about this that is astounding is, is that Blizzard doesn't launch anything just like willy nilly, right? Like, look at this. Like they, they, they tell you everything you're going to get in patch 10.2.5. They tell you what you're going to be getting in season four. They tell you that there's going to be something coming in 10.2.7, a bunch of different things. They tell you that the war within is going to come out. They even in, when they were um, at BlizzCon, uh, when we went to BlizzCon this uh, November, last November or whatever it was, they, um, they were like, the new raid is there's going to be this amount of raids. There's going to be this amount of dungeons. There's going to be this amount of stuff. Like, trust us. It's going to be great. We're doing this with talents. They didn't do that with plunder. They dropped plunder with like a day's notice, not even. And this is all they gave. They gave an icon to say that plunder is coming. Why did they do this? Why would Blizzard not want to draw hype for this? Because the game would have been fucking dead before it even got to be tested out, the content creators, the um, the 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 streamers, um, all the PvP nerds that we just talked about, all the PVE people that we just talked about, all the achievement people, they all would have fucking cried. There would have been a petition that this should not come out. So Blizzard had to secretly drop this new game mode to make sure that they had as little friction as possible or as little influence from influencers as possible to get people to play this game. That does not happen with Blizzard. They do not do shit that's willy-nilly like that where it's just, oh, we're just dropping this random new mode. Never happens. Who gives a shit if Blizzard is f***ing dog shit? Who gives a shit if Blizzard is really good? If the games are good, you play the games. If the games aren't good, you don't play the games. Play something else. If your life is in shambles, stop f***ing playing games.